Atlantic City, New Jersey is one of the most famous spots in the country. It has a long history of being a hub of entertainment, gambling, beaches, and every type of fun you can imagine. It hosts some of the oldest attractions the U.S. has to offer, and these days it's a city that has something for everyone. If you're a gambler, then you're certainly aware of the majesty of Atlantic City's many casinos and hotel casinos. And even if gambling isn't your thing, it's a town full of a variety of other entertainment, incredible food, great amenities, and much more. Stay tuned as Vucation presents the best things to do in Atlantic City, New Jersey. The Boardwalk The Atlantic City Boardwalk might be the most iconic structure the city has. Built in 1870, the Boardwalk has withstood the test of time and is the prime place to go to when you're in the area. It's four miles long, but unless you're in a hurry, you're going to be stopping at a host of places along it. Heck, you might make it only a quarter of a mile before you pop into a few shops, restaurants, and gaming areas that seem fun, and suddenly you realize hours have passed by. The boardwalk is lined end-to-end -end with all the carnival-style games and rides you could ever ask for. Whether you're looking for the mild-mannered fun of bumper cars and teacup rides, to the extreme excitement of giant roller coasters, you'll have more than your fill on the boardwalk. It also hosts food stands and restaurants of all varieties, though it specializes in the easy-to-grab, boardwalk-style foods like pizza slices, cotton candy, and the like. There are bars for the over-21 crowd and as many souvenir shops as seemingly possible. The boardwalk runs from the center of the city, where all the casinos and hotels are located, so if you're staying in the city, you'll be able to easily access it. But you don't have to start from the end. You'll be able to pop in anywhere along the way and find everything you want. You'll see bikers and rollerbladers, in addition to people walking and running, so you can feel free to join whichever group fits your needs. And of course, on the other side of the boardwalk from all the stores and rides is the gorgeous Atlantic Ocean. So your view will be incredible as you traverse your way through all the carnival-style food and excitement. Another fun option is to pay for a rolling chair, which is a service that was started in 1887. It was originally only used for disabled people, but nowadays they're open to the general public. They'll wheel you down the boardwalk for about five bucks per five blocks. Lucy the Margate Elephant Margate, New Jersey sits two towns over from Atlantic City and is easily accessible by car, bike, or even a long walk. It's a picturesque, old-timey beach community that's been thriving for decades. And while some of the older houses along the beach and in the town have since been torn down and replaced by new, fancy houses, many of the houses from the early and mid-20th century are still standing. Margate offers its own slew of great restaurants and shops and is a fun place to bop around. But while you're there, you'll definitely have to check out Lucy the Margate Elephant. It sits near the beach at Josephine Heron Park and is a six-story tall statue of an elephant. It was built in 1881, making it the oldest roadside attraction in the U.S. You can look at it from the street and enjoy its look, or go inside via a ticketed guided tour. While you're there, grab a bite at Lucy's Beach Grill and enjoy the spectacular view of the ocean as you eat. Boardwalk Hall Jim Whelan Boardwalk Hall is a convention center downtown that plays host to a ton of great events and concerts all year long. It's perhaps most famous for playing host to the Miss America pageant several times, but the hall offers a lot more than just that event. There are sporting events, music concerts, and shows of all kinds inside the hall. So if you're looking to be entertained while you're in AC, be sure to check out their schedule. But even if you aren't going there for a show, it's still a worthwhile place to check out especially because it houses the largest musical instrument on the planet. It has a pipe organ inside that has a whopping eight chambers and 33,000 individual pipes. It's truly amazing to behold. The Borgata There are plenty of great hotels to stay at in downtown Atlantic City, but the Borgata is perhaps the most famous. For starters, it's the biggest hotel in the state. So if you're looking to be where the action is, the Tuscany-style Borgata is a great place to start. You can grab one of its 2002 rooms and use it as a home base as you explore the city. Or you can spend your vacation pretty much staying in the hotel the entire time. That's because it has a casino that spans 161,000 square feet. It has 200 table games, not to mention 4,100 slot machines. That means there's pretty much no waiting if you're looking to gamble. And you won't have to leave when you get hungry because the hotel offers 11 top-level restaurants on site. You'll be able to grab a nice bite to eat before you either head back to your room for some rest, hit the tables again, or decide to wander around town. 
Of course, plenty of people choose to visit Atlantic City who aren't into gambling, and the Borgata offers plenty in that regard, too. There's a full-service spa and hair salon for when you want some pampering, and the Borgata Event Center hosts year-round performances of top performing artists. So while we definitely recommend exploring all that Atlantic City has to offer, you have at least the option of making the Borgata your one-stop shop for your stay. Frelinger's Saltwater Taffy Saltwater Taffy is a sweet staple of the New Jersey Shore experience. There are countless spots that offer it in and around town, especially on the boardwalk, but Frelinger's is definitely the first one to try. It's been on the boardwalk since 1885. Not too shabby for a spot that essentially sells little chunks of sugar. But a taste of their incredible saltwater taffy will immediately show you how they've been able to stay busy for almost a century and a half. They pump out tons of the little chewy candies and have a host of great flavors. If you want a more traditional taste, you can opt for classics like chocolate or candy apple. But they also have some fun flavors for the more bold eater, including eggnog and pumpkin. Of course, not everyone is a taffy person, but fortunately, Freilingers offers some other tasty treats like macaroons, fudge, and much more. So for your ultimate sugar fix, head over to Freilingers while you're wandering around the boardwalk. Gardner's Basin If you're looking to get a little bit out of the downtown or boardwalk area, a nice option is to head to Gardner's Basic Lake. It's a quaint waterway filled with assorted bars, shops, and places to eat. And because it's not in the main areas of the city, it gets a lot less crowded. So if you've been feeling the push and pull of the crowds around AC, you'll have a nice break at Gardner's Basin. Plus, you can enjoy some shopping and dining along the waterfront. If you're looking to get out on the lake, you can buy boat rides or even go parasailing. Some of the cruises that set sail from Atlantic City land here as well. Unfortunately, it's not a swimming spot. You'll need to do that when you visit the beaches. The Beaches Speaking of the beaches, one of the best things to do in Atlantic City is to relax on one of the many awesome beaches. New Jersey as a whole boasts hundreds of miles of shoreline, and people flock from all over to enjoy the beach when the weather is right. What's awesome about the state is that the beaches are free, and they're all family-friendly and very accessible. And Atlantic City is no different. The beaches that sit below the various parts of the boardwalk are perfect for lounging in the sand, building sandcastles, sun tanning, and every other beach activity you can think of. You can also enjoy water activities like swimming, surfing, kayaking, boogie boarding, and more. As you can see, Atlantic City lives up to the hype when it comes to not only the glitz and glamour of the hotels and casino scene, but also the amazing boardwalk, incredible beaches, and many fun attractions for the whole family to enjoy. If you find yourself in the Garden State, we highly recommend checking out Atlantic City. Even if you're not into gambling, there are a ton of ways to have a great time. Now it's time to hear from you. Have you ever visited Atlantic City? If so, did we miss any of your favorite spots? And if not, do you think you'll ever get there? Let us know in the comments section below.